Shut up and sit down. Hey folks, this is Tony Day. Today what we're going to be doing is looking at some Firecrest Ultra IRND filters. These are the Cine Slim versions and they are from Format High Tech. I did buy these. I do have an affiliate link below. I just want to make sure you guys all know that uh, as you look through these. So if you plan to buy them, um, you can totally use that affiliate link if you'd like. One thing I want to make sure you know right off the top here though is that if you plan to buy these as a result from this test or from any other video or you just feel like buying them, just make sure that if you're going to get the Cine Slims that they're going to work in the map box that you have. I use the small rig lightweight matte box and I also have the mini and they work in both so just keep that in mind the cool thing about these is that you can actually stack them and uh, they will fit into one standard four millimeter slot or uh, filter holder so I was really interested to look at these test them out to see how color neutral they would be and how easy they would be fixed if they weren't 100% color neutral which I haven't seen any ND filter that is um, and I wanted to see if I had to stack them or if I wanted to stack these IRND filters, how useful they would be, uh, at least in this kind of situation. So this was all shot with the Sony FX3 in S-Log3 S Gamut 3. And I used, I also used the Sigma 24-70 F2.8. Okay. So uh, if you look here, we've got the first shot, and this is the naked glass, so F7.1 ISO 640 and 1 50th. This is no filters. So this next one is 1 50th F4 ISO 640, uh, two stops of filtration. So this is the 0.6. The next one we have is uh, the 0.9 at F2.8 and 1 40th of a second ISO is still 640. And then here is the 1.2 at 1 10th of a second, F2.8. So uh, going back through these real quick, we've got naked, and then we've got the 0.6, the 0.9, and the 1.2. So um, the great thing about this is that they look really close. I mean, um, if I was to guess if any of these had iron defiltration, I probably w really wouldn't be able to do that. Um, they, these do all have adjustments, both to the exposure and the balance. That's a minor balance uh, adjustment. Uh, the exposure um, between them was slightly different uh, as I went through, but um, that doesn't really matter to me as long as I can get them to look close enough. Uh, so that's what we've got there. Now we're gonna get into the stacked territory. So here we have a 0.6 uh, and the 0.9, so that's five stops of filtration. So we'll go in between these two. This is the 1.2 and then the 0.6 and 0.9. 1.2, 0.6 and 0.9. And then we'll go to the next one. This is 0.6 and 1.2. And if you could please ignore that slight vignette down there, that was my fault. So um, it's not an issue with the filters. Uh, it's, you know, just me being silly. Okay. And then we have the 0.9 and 1.2. And you will notice that I did have to increase the ISO because uh, I got to the bottom of my shutter speed options. So that was, you know, I don't plan on doing this indoors. I just wanted to see uh, if it would be uh, possible and how good it would look um, if I had to. You know, I can imagine that the results would be even better at ISO 640, but at uh, 2500 still, the colors look really, really close. Um, so. Yeah, I was really happy actually with this, that the stacked versions looked so close and looked natural that um, I wouldn't have any problem using these in a real life scenario if needed. So now with all that done, I'll just show you real quick, uh, click through each of these. If you look in here, I just have two nodes. In the first one here, uh, I didn't have to do any white balancing here. Um, it was white balanced in camera off of this white card and I did not re-white balance as we go through. Um, usually, uh, the standard that I was taught was always if you're going to add ND to re-white balance the camera because there might be a shift, I wanted to do it without that because if I'm, you know, having to swap between them, uh, let's say I forget or, or somebody else forgets or whatever the issue might be, would I have any issues? I want to know that ahead of time. Um, 
I always make sure to shoot with a white card in the first shot regardless, so I can always re-white balance if needed in post, since I always shoot an S-log and a wide gamut. So, um, well, with the Sony, I always shoot a log of some kind. So the important thing to me was uh, if I didn't re-white balance, how color neutral could I get it uh, without any issues? And as you can see through here, looking at the Victor scope, um, we have really close colors as we move through these. Uh, there are very, very slight differences between them, and this is with the 2x uh, zoom turned on for this, so any differences will be really obvious, and to me this is really, really good. Um, I am very happy with uh, these results across the board here, uh, regardless of if they're stacked or not, I think these are excellent, excellent results. Um, the major differences that I actually saw between them was uh, going from uh, f4 and 7.1 to f2.8 where there's obviously more vignetting so just you know that's just part of this it's it's uh, part of the territory of opening up your f-stop okay so um, anyways I will go ahead and turn off the balance node here on each one so that we can see what they looked like before I did a rebalance okay um, and I'll just say that uh, I haven't used uh, many ND filters, whether or not they're IRND or whatever, where they were 100% neutral and didn't do any shifting whatsoever, just I've never used them. I know that the RE full spectrum NDs are supposed to be as color neutral as possible, um, but my thing is results. Uh, I only care about results. Uh, I don't need it to be in camera perfect, as long as I can get it to look mostly perfect in my end results. So clicking through these, you can see uh, that there is a slight shift as we go through and then all I did was uh, rebalance off the white card here for each one and you can see that that little shift gets them to get right back where they're supposed to be just like that I will say that um, most of the shifts that I saw seem to be just uh, drifting toward blue which I thought was really weird um, if it was the ND filters doing that. So uh, my personal guess, I guess, <laughs> would be that I was just getting a little bit more uh, light from outside as time went on. So I got a little bit more blue light from that. But uh, regardless, um, even if it was the ND filters that were doing that, it really doesn't matter too much to me um, because I was able to get them to look pretty much like when it was naked regardless. So I will say that what I'm most pleased by with this is that um, I can easily stack these filters together to expand my range from two to four stops filtration with the single sheets to uh, five to seven stops because they stack so nicely. And since these are the Cine Slims, I can fit two of them into a single holder. Uh, so that is really, really nice. I think that this is a really good deal from Format High Tech because, because of this. Um, the fact that I can stack two of these filters into a single slot uh, and I can, uh, when I do so, I'm not seeing a big uh, shift in color at all or any other issues from doing this. The sharpness seemed to be pretty good. This isn't a sharpness test, um, but as far as being color neutral, even when stacking, they look really good, at least in this test that I did here. Uh, of course, this is indoors. This is not outdoors. I'll be doing another test like that in the future. But in the test that I did here, I'm uh, very happy with the results. So if, uh, you know, watching this, you feel like you want to buy them, please look. There's an affiliate link uh, down below. I did buy these with my own money. Um, I'm still within the window to return, so I wanted to make sure I tested these out, at least for color neutrality and all those things. And uh, I probably will not be returning them because I think that they're, they're very, very good. Um, so uh, that's all that I have for you today. I hope that you found some use out of this. I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, again, if you like this content and would like to see more of it, please be sure to like and subscribe and also become a patron by going to patreon.com slash Tony Day. Thank you, and I will see you next time.